Is the Great Salt Lake drying up? Yes, in two ways. In part, because farmers and residents are using more water than ever before, the lake over the past three years has received less than a third of its natural stream flow. Last year, the lake's surface dropped to a record low elevation of 4,188 feet above sea level because it's not being recharged by rivers. The water that should be flowing in is instead being used to grow crops or water lawns. The Salt Lake City area is one of the fastest growing metropolitan areas in the country. Second, climate change is giving the Salt Lake City area hotter summers, which increases evaporation in the lake. And the lower the lake gets, the faster it evaporates. And in more typical years, more precipitation is falling as rain than snow, which means it runs off faster and doesn't recharge underground aquifers as much. The lake's water is too salty to use for irrigation or drinking. But because it's so salty, the lake is home to brine shrimp, those tiny little creatures sold as sea monkeys. Harvesting brine shrimp for commercial fish food supports thousands of jobs and provides more than $1.5 billion in revenue annually.